What is up y'all? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a $1,000 Adams Polishes unboxing. Now some of y'all might look at this and go that is way overkill and I completely understand and agree it is completely overkill. But the main reason I have all of this is for taking care of my clients' cars. If y'all don't know, I'm not going to get into it too much, but I detail cars for people, which is part of the reason I need all this. And then I'm going to be showing y'all my Adams Polishes collection. Majority of it's Adams Polishes, but there's some other stuff from Obsessed Garage and a few other companies. So before I take too long, let's go ahead and get into these boxes. And after that, I'm going to show y'all my collection of detailing equipment. Starting off with the first and lightest box. This is box number one of five. Now, the main reason I got all of this was like I said, for my clients, and they had a buy one, get one sale. So if you buy a gallon, you get a 16 ounce, and I was in need of new bottles. So I went ahead and got a bunch of chemicals and then some other smaller stuff, which I also need. In this box, we have these two gallon pumps. I use this for the shampoos, the car wash soaps. The main reason is, is it's just so thick to pour and I waste a lot of time sitting there pouring it with their pours. So with these, I can just pump, I think it's about 20 pumps will get me a 16 ounce bottle. I also have a few of these blocks. Honestly, I don't know why I really need them. I like it for undercarriage spray. Other than that, I don't have a big use for them. It's just nice to have them, they're really cheap. Along with that, so this box is filled with most of our accessories, I have these two things which go underneath the tires and prevent the power washer cord from getting caught up. Two of these Ultra Prom Shampoo and Detail Spray Air Fresheners. We have two other interior brushes. One I'm going to use for the paint and all the badging on cars to get in there and pull the dirt out because my microfiber mitt can't get in there. And the other is going to be used for the interior. I'm not sure how well it's going to work on the exterior, but I figured I'd give them a shot. And then we have a bunch of bottles. This shouldn't be all of them, but it's a, a decent start. Wow, that's some neon cleaner cheese. <laughs> the all-purpose cleaner looks so cool. All right, so this is some of the 16 ounce bottles. I didn't buy each one of these individually. They came with the buy one, get one deal. So if y'all are looking at this and want to buy some stuff, not doing the sale, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Uh, if y'all are wondering, for any of this stuff, it's going to be linked in the description down below so y'all can easily click and find it. In box number one, we have one bottle of interior detailer, love this stuff. One bottle of waterless wash, also like this stuff. A bottle of ultra foam shampoo, which is great for the foam can and works really well. Two bottles of car shampoo, which again, I love. Uh, all this stuff I'm, I'm really happy with, that's why I choose Adams. One bottle of Adams all-purpose cleaner, which they just re-released. One bottle of detail spray, three bottles of wheel cleaner, which I roll through a lot of, and then one bottle of glass cleaner. Some foam blocks, brushes, air fresheners, and then these gallon pump things, and the pressure washer things. Let's open up box number two. In here, Adams tire and rubber cleaner, tire shine, and wash and wax bottles. And then we have detail spray gallon, car shampoo gallon, a gallon of the new wheel cleaner, which is supposed to be thicker and stick better. I haven't used this yet, can't speak for it yet. A gallon of leather and interior cleaner, which I didn't really need, but I, I bought. And then a gallon of tire and rubber. That's all. all right. In box number three, metal polish number one, metal polish number two. I got these for the GSF exhaust tips and also my client stars. A bottle of interior detailer, a bottle of undercarriage spray, and then we have a few gallons. One gallon of wheel cleaner. One gallon of glass cleaner, a gallon of detail spray, carpet and upholstery, and some more wheel cleaner. So this is what we have in box number three. All right, let's get into box number four. 
two edgeless utility towels. I also got two of Adam's Ultra Plush towels, a bottle of leather and interior, and a bottle of iron remover. For the gallons, we have one gallon of Ultra Foam Shampoo, one gallon of the interior detailer, one gallon of microfiber revitalizer, one gallon of iron remover, and another gallon of interior detailer. And on to box number five. This is the last box. Let's see what we have inside. In here, I have two of the tire dressing applicators. I'm not entirely sure what they call these. One bottle of carpet and upholstery, one bottle of detail spray, the two sprayers for them, three sprayers, four sprayers. Oh, and here we have the other air freshener, another sprayer, more air fresheners, and so we have a wash and wax gallon on back order, which stinks, but you know what? I already have a gallon of that uh, either included or I know I have a gallon of it here, so I'm not too worried about that. Gallon of tire shine. So we have this awesome colored neon all purpose cleaner. I just love this color. <laughs> it's so cool. For a chemical, I just think it's insane. It looks radioactive. Uh, a gallon of car shampoo and a gallon of undercarriage spray. I was debating getting a gallon of this and this as well. I just don't use each of them very or too frequently, but I'm pretty sure the undercarriage spray is relatively cheap and uh, the tire shine is fairly expensive. Okay, so let's go ahead and get everything that I ordered on this table so I can show you guys what all I got. All right, so that concludes the unboxing portion of this video. Here we have 20 gallons of chemicals from Adams Polishes. There's one gallon that's on the way, which is the wash and wax that's back ordered, as I mentioned. And then here we have 21 bottles and the metal polish. This is the biggest order that I've done from Adams. Normally I space them out so it doesn't seem like I'm spending so much. But with this one, I felt the need to just because I got all these extra bottles. And then I also have the 15% off, which they normally do on top of that. Along with the chemicals, I also got this utility two pack and then two ultra plush drying towels. I can't say that ultra plush drying towels. Two towels, which again, I really love to use. Four, six air fresheners in total. I haven't tried these out. They smell really good. I like them, I'm happy I got them. Two interior brushes, which like I said, one's gonna be for paint and one's actually gonna be used for the interior. Just looking at them, I mean, they feel like they're gonna be really soft, so I'm happy with these. They were a little bit expensive for brushes. I also got these things from the pressure washer hose. And then I also have two BRT and tire shine applicators. Again, like I said, really like these and I'm happy with them. This right here isn't everything. I also have this box full of all the sprayers, some blocks, and uh, the pumps for the shampoos. So I hope you all like this unboxing. Let's go ahead and get into my collection of detailing supplies. Starting off with the top two shelves, you can see I have my microfiber towels and chemicals. Up here, like I said, it's just where I store my microfiber towels. I have six Ultra Plush that are in use right now, a few great white drying towels, double soft, single soft, glass towels, polishing towels, and also just a miscellaneous bucket. On the second shelf, you can see where I store most of my chemicals that I need to refill my bottles. It's four by four, so I store 16 gallons up there, and it's super easy to pull it down and refill a bottle. As you can see, this wheel cleaner is just about out, but there's still a little bit left in it. So on this side is my wheel cleaning supplies, so wheel cleaner, tire cleaner, all-purpose cleaner, and then I also have waterless wash. Here is the detail spray family, so interior detailer, matte detailer, detail spray, and also glass cleaner because glass cleaner technically falls under the detailing spray category. This is my just kind of miscellaneous, but more so like interior cleaning, so leather and interior cleaner, carpet and upholstery, iron remover, and also the undercarriage spray. And then on this side is kind of more miscellaneous, tire shine, VRT, so these kind of fall into the same family. 
and I keep two full bottles of car shampoo just because I can't store any of my shampoos up here due to the height of the pump head. And so that's kept on the bottom shelf. So let's move our way down. All right, on these two lower shelves, you can see where I keep a lot of my product storage. So all this is full bottles that I haven't used yet or I don't use or applicators here. And then these are some like hack used bottles of just kind of specialty atom supplies that I don't use too frequently. Up top, you can see kind of just, it's really full right now just because I have all my detailing supplies that I normally have in a truck out here, just so I can show y'all. Normally this shelf's more empty, this and this is booked on. All right, this is where I keep all my air fresheners. I like to have a lot on hand. Uh, I just, I kind of collect them, but they're also nice to have. And this stuff smells really, really good. Over here, you can see I have two different kits. One kit is for waxing a car. It's where I keep garden gloss, bead maker, coating prep, uh, buttery wax, uh, clay bar. This is just a car shampoo and water mix. Actual clay bars that I don't use that frequently anymore. And then an applicator, of course, and paste wax, which is kind of my classic wax that I do for people. I have a paint protection prep kit. And here I have an IPA mix, 50-50, Wolf's Nano Glass Sealant, which is nice, uh, a stripping soap, and a polish and compound for when I do paint correction. And this is a box of just my accessories that I need from car to car. We'll get into this over to the side. Here you can see my box of accessories that I take from house to house. One of my favorite things has got to be the gloves. When you wash as many cars as I do, your hands start to get really dry and gross. So this is nice to keep the harsh chemicals off of them. Here's a bag of all my vacuum attachments that I need that I take from house to house. I keep headphones, which I like to use when I use the air dryer just to save my ears. And then in here, there's just a bunch of little accessories, stuff like tire blocks, a brush, glass boost, black trim restore, light so I can see any spots that I may have missed, a squeegee, which I rarely use anymore. Just use squeegees on the windows, guys, just a little tip, not use it on the paint. Uh, crappy light, which is just nice to have if it gets dark and I need to find something, which is currently pretty much dead. Pet hair brush, just a bunch of little accessories, crescent wrenches for getting hoses off their hose bib because some people crank them down too far. All right, so that concludes what's in here. Okay, now that we're done with that, we have this thing full of all my bottles, which we'll also get into over to the side. In this bucket, this is where I keep all of my bottles that I take from house to house, like I said. So the way I have it laid out is the same way that I have the gallons laid out there. So. It's wheel cleaner, all-purpose cleaner, tire cleaner, waterless wash, the detail spray family, interior cleaning stuff, iron remover, and then undercarriage spray. Bunch of foot, this is where I keep my ultra foam shampoo, standard shampoo, and then wash and wax, tire shine, VRT, and then leather conditioner, and then a glass cleaner. As well as that, I also have a bottle of tire armor and a foamer for the leather and interior cleaner. Going into a little bit more depth down here, like I said, these are all brand new bottles here and here, which I just have on standby in case one of my bottles breaks. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what I'm gonna do with these. Over here is slightly used products, things that I've used a few times but I haven't emptied yet, so this is just kind of storage for the stuff that doesn't go in my kit that I take everywhere with me. And then this is just a bunch of new glass cleaner that I haven't gotten to use yet, and then some foam applicators and blocks. All right, now let's move down to the bottom shelf. As you can see, the bottom shelf is primarily product storage. So down here, there's just a lot of brand new bottles that I have on standby. Uh, but I also have to keep my car shampoos. Just because of the height here, there's no other shelf where I can keep them. And I kind of think it's a waste of storage just to use one of these shelves and take up this much more height just for the shampoos. So I keep them down here. They also drip a fair bit. So it's kind of nice to have it down here because that way it's only getting this shelf dirty. All these chemicals down here is everything that you saw in the unboxing and then a gallon of bead maker and then a gallon or so of car pro. I also have some oil for both the pressure washers. All right, now that we've finished this, let's go ahead and take a look at all my buckets, other pressure washer and uh, air dryers and stuff like that. All right, so I apologize, everything's kind of strung about just because I had to unload it from the truck, because like I said, most of this stuff just stays in the truck. 
So here's my portable pressure washer. This is what I take from house to house. It's nice because it's electric, it's not so loud, it's not as loud as a gas pressure washer, and it auto shuts off so it stays quiet. When I do cars at the house, again, I apologize for the mess, we're uh, made construction. When I pressure wash at the house, I use this setup from Obsessed Garage. I have a video of that on my channel. Here's my wheel cleaning bucket. I have just kind of an assortment of stuff. I don't normally use all of this on one car, but I need to have a variety depending upon what car I'm washing. I have the two easy detailing brushes for metal wheels, like suburban wheels, things that won't scratch, non-painted wheels. And then I have this brush for trucks or things with thicker tire walls. This brush, which is what I use on the wheel wells. Three wheel woolies for cleaning kind of painted wheels and higher end wheels. This lug nut brush, which I'm not super happy with, but it works fine. A tough shine brush. And then this wool mitt, which is what I use to clean the face of the wheels. So this is for cleaning the wheels. I have this to sit on while I do it, just because I'm, it's kind of uncomfortable to be sitting on my knees or standing uh, while I clean the wheels. So this makes my job a bit easier. Moving on, you can see that I have a six gallon bucket on rollers here for the water. So this is just my water bucket for rinsing the mitt. I keep an extension cord in here, my foam cannon, the gun, the extension thing, and then this brush for cleaning the emblems on the paint. So that's what I keep in here. And then I have this bucket just for the car shampoo, which I don't normally like to keep anything in just because I wanna keep this bucket as clean as possible. This right here is my vacuum cleaner. It works pretty well. I got it from Costco for super cheap. And so for the price, it was like 30, 40 bucks. I'm really happy with it. I put some Adam stickers on it just to make it match a little bit more. Uh, and part of the reason I chose this was because of its colors. And I'm also just really happy with how well it works, especially for the price. All right. And lastly, we have the Master Blaster. So this is a four plus four horsepower, so eight total horsepower um, blower to dry off the car. I don't normally use this to dry off the entire car. It just takes too long, but I'll use it after I finish drying the car with the towel on places like mirrors, door handles, grills, stuff like that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I apologize, I do understand it was pretty long. Really appreciate it if y'all leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps me out a lot. Feel free to browse any of my other videos. I have a lot of videos on car detailing and just car stuff in general, so I'd really appreciate that as well. Thanks for watching. Peace.